how detailed that kind of stuff is too, like the the ribbon. It's amusing that they even try to section off parts of it as being the dangerous parts, because this entire thing is nightmarishly porous overall. Certainly wouldn't be moving this fast if I went across it in real life. Because dang. There's more open space than there is plank at some point. Even in the safe spots. So will I just transition back into the vision or not, or do I need to reinitiate it? Let's try this. I think I, I can just move now. There's a stream coming out of it. Oh, it's going way out there. Oh, down it goes. Is there a body? A burial? Oh, is that where they buried the body? Grandpa? Stay away! Ethan, I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then fight it! I have to destroy the room! Corvus, I'm sorry. Ethan. Oh no! I can't let you do that. Concerning. Whatever had turned Ethan's family against him, the grandfather was trying to resist. Age helps against those things that feed on hate. Not because of wisdom or experience. Because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. The old are tired? And their hate is less useful. Interesting conclusion. So, whatever's going on, there's definitely a supernatural thing going on. Both, both because I can apparently detect this crazy stuff. Let's go back, because there was like a side route back there I should check out. Uh, not only is- can I do weird supernatural investigation stuff, but also, uh... We clearly have a grandfather and other people that talk about something called the Sleeper. That's manipulating them. They're attacking their own family. Which is a problem. We're gonna be learning some things, ain't we? Here's the side path that I wanted to try. Let's see. Who the heck's making traps? Beautiful environment. Just creaking in every direction. I assume it's just the trees and the wind? What is that visual? I guess they're just dark trees. They seemed more sinister than that. This path has led to a much larger chunk of map than expected. Is this like an open world adventure mystery game, I wonder? I'm trying to figure out how this works. Because it's definitely something different. These first person walk around narrative games are usually so restrictive in where you can go. Look at that view. By the way, in this, in the distance, those, that dark tree, like, some of those just look like people walking. Suddenly you start to understand Bigfoot sightings. It might be that all that's waiting for me down here is the, uh, view. And you know what? That's probably worth it. Thought I saw something move.
We are deep in the ferns. I'd be a little concerned. Oh, insects everywhere. Hey! Layers in the rock. We are thick in the underbrush. There may be nothing here. Just a place they let you explore if you want to. I may have found my way back regardless. Is there a detail on the rock? Seems pretty straightforward. Alright, so I think we're on the other side of the beach area. Yeah, we're back up here. Alright, so there definitely are empty areas then. There's a bridge way out there. Here's more train car. This looks newer. Or at least tankier. It's heavier. The other thing looks like a personal property type thing, whereas that thing looks like a big, serious, major thing. Well, a regular rail car you'd expect to see. It's hard not to be in the woods like this and not think that you're being watched by something. Here's an old train stop. Seems completely defunct at this point, especially since the uh, rails are pretty much beaten out in a lot of these directions. At least slightly down the line, the rails just stop, and we're not seeing a lot of civilization around here, so I don't know how much activity this thing gets. It was meant to be for passengers at all. The be the benches ma the benches make me think passengers. Obviously, all these logs make, make me think lumber. Maybe both in the same one. Is there like a paper anywhere? I don't want to miss any documents if there are one. Let's push forward. Beautiful area, even the music's actually pretty decent. No trains have been through here for a long time. That was part of a pattern. Large pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become, and then remain, the worst versions of themselves. Beneath all that rot, dark things grow. It just looks like I'm panning a photo right now. It looks like I'm scrolling up and down a video, uh, video or a photo. But it's in a game. Granted, you can see the cut, the edges when they're cut a little bit. Like, you can see that window doesn't stick out at all. Because it's just a photo. Pretty good illusion, though. Looks like a levee. Keep the area from flooding. Some water behind it, regardless. Probably just from the water. T it's probably from the water table. There's probably a highish water table here, so just whenever there's water, whenever there's ground that's just low enough, it's just gonna have water going over it. Look at you. That's a nice. That's a nice rock texture on these walls. Is that where they stitched the two pictures together? Oh, I can see the seam. 
slightly breaks the illusion. Need to trick though, still. They also have really good shaders and post-processing going on here that le leads this this nice like the sh the shadowing as the atmosphere fades the uh, distant objects away. Gives you feels like you have the right perspective for everything. So that's the obvious way forward right now. Is there something glowing in that tree? No, it's just the light behind it. That's the obvious way forward, but I should check around. Where do these tracks go? How far does the game allow the tracks to go, I wonder? There, there's our answer, I suppose. You hide anything back here? Any cool details? Nope, not much else. Well, let's get back to civilization, because I'm feeling a little spooked out in the woods, even though we're specifically talking about a quest where we've already had an instance of, like, a human-related murder, so obviously you're probably safer in the woods than with civilization with these people. Building down there, you got the dam. So this is the dam. There's a house up there. So it's not just a bridge, it's actually a dam. Leading to a pretty noticeable change in the water table. No, not, not really water table, it's the wrong thing to call it. I like that, you can even see the, the rippling in the water as a result of the wind, because you hear wind constantly in the background. There's a lot of details being handled correctly here. Look at this floor. Yeah, that's where their texture trick works, I think, is stuff like that. We're like, that just kind of looks like video. Maybe less so this tree, although it isn't very nicely detailed with its wibbly-wobbly model shapes. That's the trick, is that the really, wo the really wobbly stuff is just flat. That tree is two-dimensional, but the big, the big thick ones aren't two-dimensional, which helps the illusion work better, but those ones are less wobbly and require less polygons. This would take so many polygons to model to make really wavy trees like that, that wavy. That would tank it. I've seen every version of people hurting each other, hurting themselves, and we blame it on compulsion, selfishness, Madness. I suppose the idea is, if you name a thing, you can control it. There are things in this world that cannot be named. Are they human suffering? That seems to be what you're hinting at. There's the bridge we came from. We have covered some ground, huh? It's a pretty big area. And that's when I remember the sprint button for that pretty big area. There's, there's, oh yeah, there's a subtle reflection going on there. In the puddles. Pebbles? How are all these pebbles getting into the middle of the uh, bridge? We've got a street going through, and a few houses we could check out. I think the path is going to be indicating my general progression option. Let's check up here then. You're a dead end that promises it might... ...tain something. Bunch of chopped wood. There's a nice view of the dam. You can see the dropped quality texture over there. Whoops. Maybe I'm not supposed to look at it from this side? I don't know, I would expect to be that down there to be a place I can visit, but it's hard to say. 
Oh yeah, we'll give you a look in a bit. That structure. This house has an interior. Can't go this way. JR. Whole place looks kind of collapsed. Crap. I, didn't mean, I meant to read that. Ah, uh, crap. See if I can make it out. I invoke the boneless one, the one of the voids, destroyer of ships, and he who is feared by the winds, hear me, great minister folklore, I wish to make a pact with you to confound my enemies and protect my passions. Use the doors of confusion to deal their judgment, seal the path with the falsity and guile, and permit only those who can discern every true interior to pass. Uh, I think the rest is Latin. It's like aglo tetragram voyho stuji. I can't really read it. Yeah, I can't really read it. That it's really hard to read that font because it's so squiggly. But I could make out the rest because I could in infer what each English word was. But now I can't read it at all because it's not in English, as far as I can tell. That bottom part. Weird. Yeah, I pressed X because I was trying... I mix... Whoop, there you go. That must be what it did. I mixed up the button for showing text versus just accepting, and so I accidentally proceeded... Whoops. That's fine. I think I mostly got it out. So it's an invocation. We'll avoid that portal for a moment, I think. Take a look around. See what else there is besides the portal if we can. Ah, there's one up here, too. That's creepy. This gate's detail. There's so many... There's actually so many details in this game. How long did this take to do? This method of texturing? This game has a actually pretty substantial loading bar uh, before you can even get to the start screen, let alone starting the game itself. I can kind of see why. Whoa. Alright, portal. What do you have? Okay. At least taking me different to different parts of the same house. Swap. Am I going between portals or am I linking rooms together differently, I wonder? Am I in the attic now? This is somewhere different. I almost expect to find a body in here. I'm just back where I was. That, that was a red screen, is that bad? Or is it always red? That's the entrance. That's the entrance. Okay. Okay, there's the text then. A Aglon Tetragram Vation. Yeah, it's all not English. O R F O C V L. Or folk. Lore folk of like an unpronounceable name. Folklore. 
Oh, that's an A, not a V. Folklore. So this is, a. Uh, yeah, this is how you summon, like, like, Eldritch Horrors, isn't it? I played a game called This Book is a Dungeon, or maybe it was called This Dungeon is a Book. In fact, I think the subtitle is the other one, whatever it is. I played that on this channel, and you would, uh, it actually had a ritual where you would summon an Eldritch one via this thing where you have to identify its name correctly and stuff like that. And I wouldn't be surprised if the same thing is here. I also did it in a... In an escape room, actually, with my family, we had to summon an Eldritch Horror or identify it properly so that we could... Actually, we had, yeah, you had to identify it correctly so you could banish it via characteristics and, of course, its name. You'd, you'd learn about the thing and then you'd use the, the characteristics, characteristics you learned for the specific purpose of identifying its, uh, its name so you could banish it, because that's the only way to get power of it over it. Folklore. Okay. You? That's the trick. I have to swap them. So they're probably ne they were probably never right. I had probably 100% false things for the starting thing. That's the puzzle. I have to swap them myself. And then when I'm done swapping them, I go through them. So I think every single door was wrong all the time. Whereas I, I, thought, I, thought, I thought the puzzle was I was supposed to find the correct one. Oh, this is way easier. I'm gonna solve this so hard now. <laughs> the exterior wall, right? It's probably this one then. That could be it too. Nope, that's not it. Ah. You big old dummy. Do I have to start the whole thing over if I mess up enough times? Hallway? It's not the hallway either. Ah. Dang. Being down right and mean about this. A few of them down. Not the attic. Tried that. You? Ah. Let's try something else. That seems right. There we go. That could be right too. That could also be right. That's the one that's right, okay. Staircase? Not the attic. That's the end of the house, not you, so staircase. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm getting close, but that one door is always wrong. the edge of the house? It seems like it is. So it might be you. No, because you're the front door. Yeah. Not you. Maybe you. There's no more house in that direction, right? Or you. No! Ah, you s ah. Okay. This is trying my patience a little bit. The part where you start all the way over is a little rough. For me and you. <laughs> the viewer. Ah, oh, crap, now I gotta remember some of these that I'm... Was... Ah, no, I'm misremembering some of them now, because it's so many pieces of house to keep track of. And I might as well just start over now. Not the attic. Not you, apparently. No. It has to be you. You were like the kitchen or something, weren't you? And you were the side room? Okay. I mean, there's only so many options for you, right? There's 
definitely not a room over there. I don't think. Actually, that might fit spatially. A little side room? Now that goes too far. But the windows don't fit either. Who are you? This is where the spider... This is where the, bo the book room goes with the spider and web and stuff like that. That's by the entrance. Finally got that. I got you already. It was you? Yeah. And it was you. You were the staircase. What was I confused about? I was so close before, wasn't I? You're the one I'm not sure about. Well, I've, d I've used you already, right? And you're the same staircase I'm already in. It's gotta be you, doesn't it? Let's try the next floor first instead. You gotta be the attic. Oh look, that's looking back through the door I'm trying to solve. You're clearly the attic. Are you the last door in the house? I've used you already, haven't I? Not you yet, but you're by a sta- who would put- there wouldn't be another staircase. It's gotta be you. Okay, so this hallway then leads to these two rooms that I don't- and I don't know what they are yet. That's conceivable. Is the music hyping up because I'm so close to solving it? I've used this room before, right? Maybe not. How about you? Used you before. Not sure about you. D you ne definitely not you. Gotta be you. Ah, progress is being made. Thank goodness. Can I look over here a little bit? See the next chunk of house? Can't really see it. I mean, I feel like you make the most sense. You match the shape of the house. You don't make sense. It can't be you, can it? This weird shape? No, that spatial reasoning doesn't work at all, so you. Is that it? <gasps> Hi. What the hell? Gross. This is like some arcane magic stuff going on here. There's a human face right there. Hi. Arcane books. Creepy fetus baby thing. A man holding his sewn skin. Maybe. Did he flay himself? I think he flayed himself. There's not even a door leading to this place. Now. Not a door out, at least. Don't know if you can read any of the details on those... All these notes that have writing on them. A magician once lived inside an old house and made potions that let him see the future. People from the village came to the magician's house and demanded he share his potions with them. We want to see the future too, they told him. But the magician said no. The people from the village grew angry and burned the magician's house. But the magician knew this would happen. He had already cast a spell on his potion room. The house burned, but the room did not. The people from the valley waited, but the magician never came out. Why are you standing there? You spying? No. No, huh? What the hell's wrong with you exactly? <sighs> Nothing. You need to stop leaving your stupid stories around. They're freaking everyone out. Oh, you need to stop reading your stupid stories everywhere, freaking people out. That's the magician story. How about you? Where were you? Blaze reveals moonshine operation by Daniel Josephson. Josephson. Bayfield County. 
Ashland Township volunteer firefighters discovered an apparent moonshine still still battling a blaze in the woods off Old Ogden Road. According to the authorities, the still compri comprised a propane stove and four-gallon stainless steel pot, which was used to hold the whiskey mash. Based on the size of the still, Bayfield County Sheriff Hank Schaefo believes it may be part of a small operation, though he admitted there could be other stills in the county. Officers on the scene recovered a half gallon of apple pie moonshine and one gallon of unflavored moonshine. Apple cider and cinnamon sticks were found adjacent to the... We don't get the rest of it. NASA, NASA launches ATS-6 satellite by Associated Press. Cape Canaveral, Florida. Is that FLA? Uh, NASA launched what has been called the world's first educational satellite in Florida today, giving the United States a powerful edge in telecommunication technology. The application's technology, Satellite 6, will directly broadcast educational programming to several countries, including the United States, Canada, India, and Australia. NASA believes the satellite will remain in constant contact with Earth for at least the next five years. So he was writing these little stories that seem to be partly based on a real life, even. This is about a fire, and the other one's about a fire. A lot of them are about fires, actually. There's the spooky infinite house, which we've kind of experienced here with this puzzle. This is supposed to be the moonshine location, it would appear. This is the witch's brew. <laughs> Maybe he experiences fantastical versions of real life locations, basically. Like, his alchemy lab, he imagined, was actually a moonshine distillery. Could be. Place does seem like, the place does seem like it burned down. It's a mess. Alright, well that took a long time. <laughs> Longer than it should have, but mostly because I didn't freaking realize that, yeah, I... It said press X to swap, I, uh... I was thinking that was the same thing as just walking through them, but it was very different. I was, like, swapping rooms, but no, you could literally change what the room was, and that was the puzzle. Got it eventually. Took longer than it should have, but still. There we go. That's, like, that's probably the definition of optional, but I did it. Now let's find more optional stuff. <laughs> 